Hey everybody, I'm the Attack Artist, and welcome to the July 2019 fan art video. Now, this fan art video is going to be a little bit special, because, if you guys didn't know, July is my birthday month, because my birthday is on July 27th. So most of these are going to be fan art that was done as a birthday present to me. Um, some are just regular fan art. And then there's also one special thing that I need to announce here that's not fan art, but it's something that you guys will be happy to hear about. So without further ado, let's begin. Starting with Lizzie's art. Now the first one is a drawing of Bombsly, the Pokemon that Lizzie drew for me. And she drew it for me because on my Zelda Discord server we did a movie night when we watched um, Pokemon and um, Mystery of Mew starring Lucario. And Bonsly appears in there and I was commenting about how much I love Bonsly because in the anime he's like super cute and adorable. And she drew it for me, and I'm really impressed. This is super, super cute. It honestly looks like official Pokemon art. Because, like, you've got it all perfect. I'm very, very impressed at how symmetrical his, the little, um, bushes on top of his head. How they're, like, perfect circles, because circles are really hard to draw. And just everything is just perfect. The anatomy is on this great, and it's really cute. So, thank you, Lizzie. The second drawing is also by Lizzie, and this was done for my birthday. And I gotta say, I'm in love with this. Like, I am so, so pleased as punched by this. I actually made it my phone wallpaper and computer wallpaper for some time. And just the detail in this is so impressive. First of all, I love the background. It has sort of like an 80s like vibe to it and I just really like it. It's very good. Um, it also kind of looks like birthday wallpaper. And just every character is so impressively drawn. Like you got Princess Peach. I love Peach. We got of course Grusinator with the shades and you know, you guys know how much I love Grus and how he's one of my favorite Zelda characters. We got Isabel looking adorable, short-haired Zelda, and you guys know that that's like my favorite Zelda. Well, Skyward Sword Zelda and Breath of the Wild Zelda with short hair are kind of tied. We got Pikachu, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, we got Moochie, I'm very pleased to see him included. We got Kirby looking cute and adorable as always. And we got my husband Twilight Princess Link and my favorite Zelda character, Minda. And I also gotta say the detail on Minda's um, helmet is incredible because I love Minda but I never draw her because man is she difficult to draw with her anatomy. And also I have to say I love the detail of the white flower Pikmin on my shoulder. I really like how you guys have been incorporating that Pikmin in fan art because I've only shown it off with Moochie throwing it. But I gotta say, that white Pikmin's special. And you guys will see why in the future. And then, of course, there's me! I really like how the birthday cake just says happy birthday. And I've rambled on long enough with this drawing, but I just want to say thank you so much, Lizzie. This was a great birthday present. The next birthday fan art is from Steven, and he drew me along with all of the very, very good storytime animators, such as Woofy Choo, The Odds Ones Owls, Emery Choo, and of course Jaden Animations and stuff. And I just want to say thank you so much for including me, because all of these YouTubers are huge, <laughs> like million subscriber huge, and it just warms my heart to see me included. Um, me, like a small YouTuber included in these super popular and super big YouTubers. And it's really impressive how you drew every single one of us with such detail. Like immediately I was like, oh yeah, that's this guy and this guy. I recognize them right off the bat. So thank you so much, Steven. I really appreciate this. This is 
very, very well drawn, and thank you once again for including me. Also, before I move on, I wanted to say that Lizzie and Steven now have Twitter pages, so go follow them because they post all of their amazing artwork there, as well as update to their YouTube channel where they post covers. So, go follow them on there. Now on with the next person. The next birthday fan art is from Anna! And let me just say, I, I always say, let me just say I love this, but I really, really love this. I love this shirt you gave me. I honestly wish I had that shirt in real life. It's so cute. Isabel is so adorable. I love how she's, um, how you, Anna, and Isabel are using those, like, confetti like sort of things, especially since Isabel uses that actually in the game when you finish a public works project. And it's just so cute. I love how you drew yourself in this. I love the banner and my hat. It's just so adorable. Thank you so much, Anna. I, I, I honestly, this is probably my favorite drawing from you so far. I just adore it. It's just literally, one word to describe this is adorable. <laughs> The next birthday fan art is from Dragon Samurai on Twitter. And this is just, as the weebs call it, moe. <laughs> I just, I look so adorable. I look like a little kid version of myself. I love how small I look. Small, S M O L. <laughs> and I love how you included the star because of my profile picture. And I just look so cute! I actually made this my profile picture on Twitter for a while because I really enjoyed it. It's just so cute. I also love how you did, you drew my eyes and um, for those who don't know, Dragon Samurai is an artist on Twitter, so go follow him on there. And going back to this artwork, I have to say the shading is very impressive. I love, I love how you shade things with like the white shine because I, I really struggle with shading, quite honestly. Um, so I really like how you do that. So once again, thank you so much Dragon Samurai for the lovely art. Now the next fan art is from someone who's posted fan art before, um, which is Renegade JP. And he drew me with a Mickey Mouse hat and a Mickey Mouse balloon because if you guys didn't know this, I actually went to Disney World for my birthday. So, at the time that this um, is posted, you guys will probably be getting Disney World videos next week. So, hey, hope you're excited for that. <laughs> so, thank you so much, JP. I This is super cute. I really like the hat and how my name's on it. Um, so, thank you so much. I really appreciate these little drawings you give me. So, thank you. And before we move on, Renegade JP also did another drawing, which is another cute little drawing of me. And um, this is referencing a moment in my Octopath Traveler Demo Sunday, which in the top right corner, there should be an eye icon shown. And if you click on it, you can go watch it. And in part of that demo, I find out that I can steal. Um, so that's what that's referencing. And I got sparkles in my eyes because I'm like, oh, I can steal. <laughs> um, because I really like that sort of gimmick. Um, so yeah. So thank you so much, Renegade JP, for the lovely, adorable art once again. The next drawing is from T the Butler. And it's very good. I really love how you included Manaphy and Wolflink which are some of my favorite characters, because if you guys didn't know this, Manaphy is my favorite Pokemon. I adore her, and this is important because of the next thing I'm gonna show. And the thing is, you just drew this so adorable. I gotta say, Wolf Link is so cute. He looks like a puppy. <laughs> I love how you include his little earrings and stuff. He's just so cute. Those eyes. <laughs> um, I love how you drew me in my, in the, Zelda tunic. I really, really like that touch. That's very nice. And I've already said it about Manaphy before, but she's really cute. But the detail I probably like the most is that each of the Triforce 
each piece of the Triforce is next to one of us, so there's one next to Wolf Link, one next to me, and then one next to Manaphy. So, hey, viewers watching, in the comments below, why don't you guys say which Triforce piece do you think belongs to the three people here? So, we have the Triforce of Courage, Wisdom, and Power. So, which one do you think would go to me, Manaphy, or Wolf Link? So, say that in the comments below. And once again, T, thank you so much for this wonderful drawing. Thank you. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is not fan art, um, but it has to do with Manaphy, as shown in the last drawing, and it also has to do with my birthday. So, um, my very long-time friend, um, he bought me this present. It's a little Manaphy plushie. And if you guys recognize something, he was formerly known as Nacho Cat. And in the very first fan art video, you can see a drawing he did for me. So um, if you want to follow him for art and all that jazz, his Instagram is up there. He posts a lot about his really amazing OCs. So I highly recommend checking that out. And I just want to say again, thank you so much for this for this little gift because it means so much to me and it's so sweet to get a gift from a great friend so thank you I really really truly thank you and hey Manaphy is adorable so you can tell why I love this plush <laughs> now moving on to the next fan art the next drawing is from my good friend Flare Blitz and I have to say, I noticed that you named the file Kia, so thank you. Remember that Darcy's gone. <laughs> and I have to say, I'm so impressed with this. Like, I gotta say, I made this my Discord profile picture for a while because the background is like super, super unique and well done. And I like the white border around myself. Like, I kind of want to start doing, like, white borders because I think that just makes the drawing stand out. I think it's really nice. And I have to say, instead of my otaku artist, like, thing on my shirt, I like how you included Darcy Gang. Remember that rest in peace, Darcy 1.0. Um, <laughs> and the expression is just really cute. I like my eyebrows. And I like how um, you got the two piece signs, like, the pose is really nice. And I already said this to you before, but I really love this, so thank you so much, Flair. <laughs> um, so, thank you. I really like it, once again. Thank you so much, Flair. Now, our next bit of fan art is from Gracie Cat. And before I get on with this wonderful piece of fan art that she drew me, I wanted to tell you all that Gracie Cat now has a YouTube channel and she has started posting um, some animations. So go subscribe to her because she's very talented and as you guys have seen that her art's amazing. So subscribe to her YouTube channel and also fo and follow her on DeviantArt if you haven't already. And without further ado, I'm going to talk about this drawing. I really love the theming in this drawing because I don't do a lot of covers. I want to do more. I want to do more. I really do. So I really like how this one is musically themed. The background, I love how it's like spotlights in a way. And you have um, green, blue, and pink. And funnily enough, green is my favorite color. Blue is my second favorite color. And pink, pink and purple are my third favorite color. So... Funnily enough, you guessed my favorite color, so thank you. I really love this, like, it's it's the Link tunic, but it has the Sheikah eye symbol instead, with like a little Triforce, and I just think that's so unique. Like, to be quite honest with you, I'd love to have this sort of, like, hoodie outfit in real life. The pose is very impressive, with my legs and how you have, like, my hand on headphones. Like, that is just so, so, like, the anatomy on this is just really good. And the expression is great. So, thank you so much, Crazy Cat. I love all the fan art you give me, so thank you. I really appreciate it. And that's it for the fan art. But this video is not over yet. <laughs> I have an announcement. This isn't 
fan art, but it has to do with me, and it's kind of a fan-made thing in a way. In the description below, and in the eye icon, as well as in the end screen of this video, I will have the link to a video that I was guest starring in. Yep, I was part of a Twilight Princess beta video, which is part of a series called The Gaming Gallery, where my good friends, later Gator to You, um, as well as Green Cobra's Gaming, and Pancake Armor Man are part of, and they post like collaborative video game stuff, as well as Gaming Gallery, which is all about the beta games. And all the videos are very informative, very interesting, and I was happy to be a part of this episode. In this Twilight Princess beta, um, I narrate the video, and later Gated You wrote the script. I helped with some parts, and he edited the video. And some of my footage is in the video, as well as an animated section at the beginning that I I made. So I highly suggest checking this video out after this video is over. So again, eye icon in the top right corner, description below, and in the end screen. And be, be sure to subscribe to the game to game because the videos are awesome. And that's it. That is part of the fan art video for July, and I have to say, this is the longest fan art video to date. So, we got a lot of fan art and stuff this this um, video, or this month rather. So, thank you guys so much. I loved every single one of these um, pieces of lovely art, and remember guys, go follow and subscribe, do all the things, because everyone here is so talented. And if you would like to send me fan art, be sure to go in the description below and send me fan art at any of my social media, such as my Discord server, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Otaku Artist, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!